Hello YouTube and welcome to the seventh tutorial in the PHP tutorial series and this is going to be quite a confusing concept to discuss but hopefully we can get we can get over it we can get around it and this will work for all the newbies but you know in my tutorial where I, sh where I showed you how to output text I used double quotes and I did say that we can use single quotes with concatenation and that's pretty much what I'm going to be discussing in this video. So first of all, what is the difference between double and single quotes? Well, let's just write a quick little script that will output text to the browser. The first one will be echo with double quotes, hello world. And the second one will echo hello world with single quotes. And we'll save that as strings.php okay so if we go to strings.php you'll notice that they are exactly the same and there's no break there so I'll just put a, P, a HTML line break right there and you'll see they're exactly the same thing but the difference between these is I'll just show you that right now through a variable I'll declare a variable called name I'll just um, word it's going to be called and we'll assign that with the value of world and end that and you'll know from a, the variables tutorial you know to include a variable in a string I'll put it you'll just type the word um, word but if we do that down here we'll get a different result and if I save this and show you that you'll notice that the first one and I apologize I just should put a line break in there to make it easier to show you'll notice that the first line outputs the variable and the second one doesn't and I'm just going to explain the difference between a double quote and a single quote now when you ha have a string with a double quote that is telling PHP to parse the whole string and find a variable so if you have a variable it's going to say okay we're starting with double quotes now please PHP look through here and take the variable and convert it to the actual value which is world but when you have single quotes you're just skipping that process and outputting the entire string as a string so the difference is um, when you want to have a variable with a single quote you need to concatenate it and I'm not sure what I should yeah I'll just explain first of all what why it does this when you have double quotes PHP will parse it for the variable and that means that it's quite it takes longer to execute this script and as we're only outputting two words it's quite minimal there's only one variable so it doesn't take long but if you had thousands and thousands of words there would be quite a small um, performance difference that you'd notice when outputting the the variables so how can you get around this well if you want to output a single quote and you want to use a variable you can concatenate it so let's just go back here and we're just going to put this in single quotes world okay okay so if you want to echo out that you know you want to say hello world but you want to use single quotes you can do it like this echo and as you'll start off with hello then put a space and now we're going to end the string and what we can do is actually join a variable on with a string by concatenation and you do that using a full stop so just have a full stop and then after the full stop you will have the variable name which is world and then we'll have another full stop and then you know we can actually have more text after this so we can just have a break and then end it and have a semicolon we save that you'll see that we've used a single quote and we've actually concatenated a variable onto it so if we wanted to do this with double quotes you know we would just do echo hello world and you look and get that it looks a lot easier to do the double quotes doesn't it and whoops we save that reload it same thing but the difference is with performance but also what I'm going to discuss now is how to echo out HTML so let's just go back and let's just use double quotes and we're going to change this we're going to declare a variable called Google okay and actually won't we use a variable right now we'll just echo out something to prove a point so if we echo out um, in, in double quotes we're going to echo out a link 
Now, if you don't know how to use a link in HTML, it's just, it goes like this, you do open brackets A, href equals, and in double quotations, you will put google.com, and then to end the link, you will end it, and then after this will be the anchor text, which is what is shown as the text for the link, and then we'll end it with, with that. So, you guys should know basically how to output a link if you're learning PHP. If you don't, you can Google it. But that will just output the link Google, or will it? So we save this, and you'll see we have a parse error. And that's because if we look at this, like if we look at this as a normal person, we think, okay, we open it here, we put the link, and we end it. Well, let's look at this from a PHP point of view. We open up the double quotes, and then we type ahref equals. But then here, when we're adding the link, we're actually closing the string. So what we can do here is there's two options that we have and the easiest option is to just use a single quote so let's close this and we're going to do echo single quotes and we'll just put a href href oops equals google.com and then we can just type google and close it and we'll just start our semicolon right there oops what am I doing and now you can see that our link actually works. So what I do is when I'm using HTML I will use a single quote and that's because it's much easier to write the HTML because you don't have to escape as many characters and I'll explain that in one moment but if I'm you know I'm actually quite lazy so if I'm just doing you know outputting some text with a variable I will just use double quotes so I'm just going to echo if I'm just for example I'm just gonna say you know my name is um, name and let's just imagine that this name variable has been declared with the value of Chris I'll just do that so you know let's say if you want to use a variable in HTML let's just um, put link as the variable I'm gonna assign that to the value of Google and then inside here where it says Google we can just concatenate the variable in here we'll end it full stop and then we'll just put the variable link another full stop and we'll start up the string again okay so let's let's um, go back to single quotes and let's say we have a variable and let's say we actually want to echo out um, a string but it has an apostrophe in so oh, hello it's a nice day to code PHP and all we're saying here is we we'll open it and we say hello it's a nice day to call PHP and we'll close it and then we'll have a semicolon and we'll save that and you'll notice there's a parse error and it goes back to the same problem as before PHP thinks that we've ended the code here with the apostrophe when in actual fact we want it to carry on so all we need to do here is do a backslash and this is known as an escape and what this does is say this tells PHP okay the the value after this backslash um, is don't regard this as a PHP method, just regard this as a normal string. So if we save this, reload it, we can see that his, it has worked and there's no parse error. And also if you want to do a backslash, a literal backslash, you just do like, um, we can, let's just type out, we can use double backslash single quotes but if we reload that, um, actually that works, I'm not sure, I actually thought that you had to do a double backslash to actually output a backslash, but in PHP 5 it must have updated or I must just be remembering wrong, so actually I would just use double backslashes in case, if depending on it might be an older version of PHP installed on a web server, so you know that works as well so that was just this tutorial and let's just go over what we've learned in this tutorial um, for starters double quotes allow variables to be used inside of the string without concatenating them so you can just write a string echo out a string and then use a variable with that but it is slower to parse a variable with double string because you have to 
you're telling PHP there's a variable in there so it has to pass through and get out all the variables and with a single quote it's actually faster to execute on a server but you need to concatenate the variables so let's just let's just say it's faster to type out with double quotes but it's faster f for the server to execute it with single quotes and to write HTML it's more convenient to use single quotes because double quotes are used quite often in P in HTML so it will be difficult and quite messy to escape all of the HTML double quotes and um, yeah that's what we've learned in this tutorial so it's actually quite pointless well not not pointless that's not what I was looking for it's actually not relevant right now to you because you're not going to be writing out lots of massive strings so it doesn't really matter about passing out variables and double quotations so what I do is when I'm just when I'm writing out echoing out some strings and it has a variable in it but I'm not using HTML I'll just use double quotes but if I'm using HTML I'll use single quotes and then I'll concatenate the variables so yeah that's pretty much the summary of this tutorial so I hope you guys learned a lot from this if you didn't then you know watch over it again or it doesn't actually matter that much but please like the video and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions on this just leave a comment and yeah enjoy the next tutorial